Hello, it's me. I'm Hannah. I brought the Adult Bible Study Guide, uh, the uh, third third uh, quarter of 2023, Ephesians. It's uh, just the title, Ephesians. It has actually uh, uh, 13 lessons, but uh, this this quarter has 14 lessons. Uh, let me uh, let me introduce uh, the contents uh, of 14, the four and the uh, efficiency. Uh, second, God's grand Christ-centered plan. Third, the power of the exalted Jesus. Fourth, uh, how God rescue, uh, rescues us. Five, the horizontal, fifth, horizontal atonement, the cross and the church. And six, the mystery of the gospel. Seventh, the uh, unified body of Christ. Eighth, uh, Christ shaped lives and and the spirit inspired the speech. Ninth, uh, living wisely. Tenth, uh, husbands and wives together at the cross. Eleventh, practicing supreme ro loyalty to Christ. Twelfth, the call to stand. Thirteenth, waiting. Peace, fourteenth, efficiency in the heart. This uh, the uh, writer, author. Uh, I introduce about the efficiency, how to follow Jesus in trying times. The John K. Mac McVeigh Ph.D. is the president and, and the professor of religion at uh, Walla Walla University in college. Place Washington, USA, where he has served since 2006. Epicians, how to follow Jesus in trying times. In the epistle to the Epicians, Paul tells us about the Epicians uh, th themselves years after the exciting events of the early days of Christian mission in Ephesus. The, the Ephesians struggled with the significance of their Christian faith. For once the trouble of the economy of this fourth largest city in the Roman Empire is now see the now see the line and imprisoned. Uh, writing from prison, he worries that the believers in Ephesus may lose heart, forgetting any active sense of what it means to be disciples of Jesus in the sophisticated, sophisticated urban, urban and uh, thoroughly pagan culture of Ephesus. Though his hearers are already Christians. Of course, tone is one of the recruitment. He seeks to uh, re-enlist re re them in the Christian faith to re reignite, reignite the fire of their devotion to Christ and to redirect the excitement excitement of being part of God's great enterprise in the world, the church. Because the Christian faith is all about Christ, Paul radiates the ad admiration and worship of him. If worthy Christian disciples are to regain their footing, it will be because they recapture their first love for Jesus and uh, establish fresh trust in His grace and power. So, Paul highlights Christ's exaltation in exaltation in heaven above all the powers and deities that seek to attract attract the devotion of believers in Ephesus. Jesus is the, is the goal of the divine plan for the ages, a plan in which believers as the church play an important role in God's plans to unify all things in Christ. As Paul seeks to draw believers in Ephesus into fresh devotion to their Lord, he does not dumb down 
the demands of Christian discipleship. He spells out in some detail what Christian behavior and the community look like. Christians are called to spirit-inspired, Christ-honoring, God-directed worship, which Paul illustrated illustrates uh, again and again. A devotion to Christ impacts how one acts and speaks. To love Christ means to respect and value fellow believers. It means resisting the patterns of mean. Spirited and sexually de- decadent, decadent, yeah, sexually decadent behavior so rampant, rampant in their culture. It means in our relationships, which are within church and the household, borrowing from the the example of self sacrifice offered by. Christ. It means offering fellow Christ citizens of Ephesus, Ephesus clear examples of a new pattern of pattern of human existence. Paul spends a good deal of his letter expressing his excitement for this new pattern of what it means to be human through membership. In God's church, he is especially invigorated, invigorated by the thought that God has joined the estranged segments of humanity, Jews and Gentiles, as one in the church. In leaving out unity where hostility would be expected, they have an opportunity to exhibit. The Characteristics of God's new society and the coming kingdom. In pursuing the importance of being part of God's church, Paul de- develops four metaphors for the church. Believers make up the body of Christ, demonstrating their devotion to Christ and their unity with each other. They are a living temple built through the sacrifice of Christ on Calvary, Calvary, in which God is worshipped. They are the bride of Christ who look for toward the grand marriage ceremony when the bridegroom comes to claim them as his own. In a final metaphor that expresses Paul's efforts to in re. We enlist them in Christian faith. They are the army of Christ, which wages peace in His name, or、uh, combat, combating the combating the forces of darkness in God's strength, as they look toward Christ's return. Ephesians then、uh, speaks especially to times like.、Uh, Our own, in which the the allure of the world and the passing of time threaten to dull Christian discipleship. It lifts up Christ and、uh, accents the、um, the significance of following he, him as engaged, active members of his church as we live our the hope of his return. This quarter, we have the privilege of listening. Prayerfully to Ephesians and experiencing a、uh, new the excitement excitement of following Jesus in challenging times. Yeah, I am praying for to reading this uh, uh, other t- Bible study guide. Though I I have limited English reading and、uh, understanding, but I want to just reading the the. Bible booklet, the Bible adult Bible study guide. Uh, uh, since I I、uh, just uh, almost fifteen years old, if I have this English book or Korean book, I read all through、uh, at the the short time, at a short period.、Uh, but now anyway, though I I, I don't study English. Personally, but、uh, just reading it's so helpful to me. So that's why 
I'm just reading, and then uh, uh, it is getting more to improve to reading how to uh, how to read. I myself uh, just uh, you know I attended the church, yeah, English the church, but sometimes uh, I I I understand only the only uh, the part of the the story. But sometimes uh, I miss uh, miss the uh, part of them. But still, if I just you know the attend the the worship, the worship to God and pray together is so helpful. And uh, I need to test testify of my my story also, but. Uh, it, it will be kind of be Korean and both of the, in English uh, because there are kind of uh, reason. Uh, so uh, I do that. And God, God gave me a, a kind of, uh, you know, to to uh, the read the. Study, you know, Bible study or Bible study guide book. So yeah, I'm gonna read also the uh, Ephesians uh, one through fourteen lessons. Yeah, see you today. My uh, body condition it, it has still a uh, little bit uh, hard. This uh, the hitting side side. So I need to get the, the ice, you know, massage, ice pack, put on the you know, ice pack. Yeah, and then it's a little bit hot, the uh, weather, but it is good. So that's why I'm just, you know, talking with you. Yeah, I try to talk, and then I need to uh, practice a small uh, talk or uh, uh, conversation like this. And uh, I try to... Uh, discuss after if I have any, uh, you know, my courage. So the courageous, you know, condition will be talk with you. Though this will be the the video, video, you know, uh, taken, but we'll try and then. After I will try to talk with uh, the people who just uh, I meet on any time. Yeah, thank you. May God bless all of you. And let's uh, pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go. Wow. It is not. Yeah. Good. So there are kind of, yeah, something in outside. But uh, yeah, through the video is okay. Yeah, thank you. See you. Bye.